Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video, and I post new videos every Tuesday and Thursday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. Today's video is going to be a book review as the title says above, but before I get into that, I'm going to mention two quick things because I know somebody's going to ask me. The first is my hair. The last video you guys saw me in, I had my hair done up in purple Senegalese twist. I had to take them out just because I had an allergic reaction to the hair and um, it really did some damage to my scalp. So I took that out, um, unfortunately. It was really pretty. I really liked it and I, I wanted to keep it in, but it was just too much going on um, to the point where I couldn't sleep. And then second thing is I have a new setup. I have new lights and everything. So let me know what you guys think. Um, and I'm also not using my cell phone to record. I am using the Canon Rebel T5 camera to record. Sorry, I had to look. Um, I can't wear my glasses, so I might be squinting every now and then because for some reason, all of my glasses give a glare. This glad like this pair isn't as bad with the glare. Um, it's a nice, it's not too bad of a glare, but it's still a glare with the ring light. So I'm just not going to record with glasses. Um, hopefully I don't look blind um, to you guys. But yes, book review. So I mentioned before so many times that I wanted to get into doing book reviews because I love reading. Reading is my life. You guys have seen my bookshelf. Bookshelf so is coming. But um, yeah, I wanted to be able to sit down and do these with you guys. So I'm going to keep these book reviews under 15 minutes, not too long. Um, just give you my thoughts, my opinions on it, and uh, tell you guys if I recommend it or not. So the first book that I have for you guys is Anywhere Faith by Heather C. King. I absolutely love this book. Hope you guys can see this. It says, Overcome Fear, Insecurity, and Excuses, and Say Yes to God. I did get this from Our Daily Bread at a discounted price when they were having their Our Daily Bread book club. I know they did it last year. I'm not sure if they're going to be doing it for 2019 because they do have some things going on with their website where they're updating it. Um, but yeah, I did get this at a discounted price. It does retail. Oh, the price is not even on here. I can't even tell you how much it is. Price will be on the screen. But yeah, this is considered a Christian lifestyle or kind of spiritual growth book. And I definitely agree with this. I'm going to quickly just read what I wrote on um, Goodreads, my review to you guys. And I'm going to read the back of the book and then tell you guys some of my favorite parts, if I can remember. On Goodreads, I wrote, this was absolutely stunning to read. I truly enjoyed every inch and detail of this book. It was biblically sound and still personal. I love the personal accounts of Heather as well as the accounts of various people from the Bible. This wasn't heavy in theology or doctrine. It's the perfect read for an imperfect person. This dives deep into the excuses we use and how we can slightly waver in our faith. I love the questions and prayers throughout this book and even the points of application. This is a great book and the author herself is a stunning lady. Definitely recommend this book. And I'm able to say that because I was able to interact with the author for the book club. But um, I'm just going to quickly read the back of the book to you guys. So on the top, there's a quote and it says, availability is what matters to God, not ability. And I think that is something so key many of us need to remember because a lot of us say we're not um, able to do something because we don't have the ability to do it. But if you have the availability and you're open and willing to God to do something, he will give you the ability to do it, if that makes sense, hopefully. But um, so on the back, it says, most of us want to live faith driven, obedient lives, yet something holds us back fear, insecurity, busyness. If success depended on us and our own abilities, we'd be doomed to failure. We're not smart enough, we're not big enough, we're not trained enough, we're not capable enough, and the list goes on and on. Thankfully, God sees us through the filter of grace and calls us enough in Christ. We're not that different from the people in the Bible, Abraham, Moses, Esther. We look at these biblical heroes and think, I could never do that. But God, without, I'm sorry, but without God's leading and power, they couldn't have either. They were just regular men and women living out their faith. Their availability and utter dependence on God changed everything. Build the kind of relationship with God that lets you say, yes, Lord, I will, even while your knees are knocking. It's about being honest with God regarding our fears and excuses. It's about dialogue and relationship with him. It's about how we answer him when he simply asks us to trust. I mean, do you not want to read a book that just sounds just like that, like so good? It's amazing, honestly. That's what really got my attention. Um, and the title itself with the Anywhere Faith is really what drew me in. I love this book so much. It is up there with Cling and Fervent for me. This is one of those books that really helped me um, understand that even though I may not be enough for a lot of things with God and being open to God, I'm able to do those things because he will equip me to do those things if only I am open to him and I trust him. Um, and that's basically the, the, you know, the gist of this. But I do want to mention a few things. So... First things first, what I love is that there's a prayer in here that she got from David Livingstone and it says, Lord, send me anywhere, only go with me. Lay any burden on me, only sustain me. Sever any tie but the tie that binds me to thyself. 
and this like i said is a poetic prayer that was written by david livingstone that she put and it's on page 12 of her book i marked it up i hope you guys can see this i don't know but i marked it up with purple and green because it was something that i wanted to remember and it was a prayer and i tend to try to write that in all of my bibles i just love the idea of telling god that i'll go anywhere he'll send me as long as he's with me because if he's with me then i know i'm not alone i know i can get there and i love the idea of telling him to lay any burden on me as long as he sustains me because i can um god is not going to give you more than you can bear and um he'll always be with you to help you out when you need it so i just love that idea each chapter is based off of a person in the bible so the first chapter is based off of abraham the second one is on mary so forth and so forth so let me just get to a chapter where i have some stuff going on you know so um here we go this is chapter five and it's titled could you run that past me again and it's lessons from gideon so you get hopefully i can see this um you get your title you get who the lesson is on and then you get your context of what it's about and you know she gives you the excuses she gives you scriptures and stuff i mean i was in here highlighting like a beast you guys I don't know if you'll be able to see, but I was highlighting like a maniac up in here. I broke my broke the spine on my book, unfortunately. But um, yeah, I was highlighting like a crazy person, um, and it's such 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 good stuff. But what I like is that after after each chapter, there's a portion that is interactive, and you guys know I love me a good interactive book. I like books that allow me to interact with the text. I like books that ask me questions. I I just I love an interactive book because especially when it's a Christian lifestyle kind of book it allows me to really be able to apply the things that i'm reading and learning and getting and gleaning from the author so i love books like that even in my biblical fictions i love them so what i like is that um there is this first part here that says write it and basically she gives you a scripture to write so you're basically doing scripture writing and she'll give you the scripture and you just rewrite the scripture in your own handwriting you can plug in your name you can plug in whatever you, you know whatever you want as long as it's you're writing it and making it personal after that portion there is a think and talk about it so then she just gives you five or so questions to really just think about from what she read like what you just read as well as personal things that you can relate within that chapter after that you go into your pray it which is just a prayer she has based off of that chapter to obviously pray and then after that there is a live it section and for live it she just gives you um, something practical you can do sometimes it's you know reading more scriptures other times it's a way that you can apply it let me see if I can find another one for you guys yeah so like other times there's something you can live out um, a question that you can really think about on like a daily weekly basis I just I love this and everything about it it's amazing as you can see I tab it up like crazy yeah i love it and i'm gonna do a video on how i do my annotation in my christian nonfiction because i have done one already on biblical fiction and i've done a reading blog but um yeah i just i don't know what else to say like this is amazing like okay what chapter is this this is this isn't about well water is it and um who is this on this is lessons from the samaritan woman incident and um, it says, Jesus calls us to relationship with him, to intimacy and vulnerability, to be fully known and fully loved, and in the end, fully filled by him alone, the living Lord. Um, another thing, it says, God calls us, I'm sorry, God calls all of us to deep levels of intimacy with him. No part of our heart remains hidden from him. Um, there are like word studies in this book, lots of scripture references, which I love. She does um, insert some like commentary from other people and authors, which I do enjoy books that do that because it allows me to um, look at new authors and new books and things. But um, I mean, there's just so much in here. Okay, this is from the chapter with Isaiah, I believe. Yeah, this one is, um, did I think I could hide this from you? And it's lessons from Isaiah. So it says, um, I can be sorrowful over my own sin and I can be sorrowful about your about your misfortune um you know it's just certain things that i highlight i mean it's not making sense to you guys but when you read the book it's really good um okay here's one to follow god anywhere he calls we need to be free to go free from sins that hinder us and hold us back free from overwhelming shame that can keep us chained to the past and unable to move forward i mean my god there have been times where I told God that I was available to do things, but emotionally I just wasn't capable of doing it because I was dealing with other things or I had like sin harbored up 
Um, here's another thing here. It says, God can't send us anywhere if we're so focused on our shame that we can't see his grace. Nor can he use us if our hearts aren't tender to the conviction of the Holy Spirit or we're unwilling to run from our sin straight into the arms of Jesus. I mean, I personally could, re could relate to that because I was dealing with a lot in my past um, where I was letting fear and shame and, um, you know, regret kind of keep me back. Though I was like, I'm available, God. When he asked for me or told me to do something, I couldn't fully go because I felt like I was chained or trapped to whatever emotions and feelings I was dealing with and um this book is just it's just one of those books that really will help you look at your life ponder the things that's going on in your life and try to help you get out of that it's really amazing it's really just about you um again being vulnerable being available and open to God it's saying yes to him even if you're afraid if you're afraid still say yes because um gotta wipe that fear away and he'll always be with you so i highly recommend this book i personally enjoyed this book i really did and dude <laughs> i really did and i'm definitely going to be rereading this myself again i totally love this book it's amazing and um yeah again this is anywhere of faith by heather c king i highly recommend links will be down below to amazon barnes and nobles and christianbook.com if i can find them and i'll try to find links for ebooks as well because i know a lot of you guys are ebook readers and I think that's it for now. So thank you guys for watching, rating, commenting, subscribing, and all that great stuff. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comment section. And I will answer those when I get the chance to. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!